so welcome guys uh, this evening and uh, this is the offshoot of remaining like whatever was remaining in today morning that's what we are completing and will not take more than 15 minutes okay so my question now i will start with a question like i decided to start with a question we studied a lot of uh, pd like the probability density function and a lot of distributions and all that so now tell me uh, what is the difference between pmf and pdf can anybody tell me what is the difference between pdf and pmf pdf and pmf what is the difference pdf and pmf what is the difference we had we had covered it uh, very like with a lot detail but you are not revising that's why you have forgotten so i'll 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 tell you anyone anybody sarthak are you remembering what is the difference between pdf and pmf jignesh sarthak amit anybody okay so i'll tell you if number is discrete at least tell me the difference between discrete variable and a random variable sorry discrete variable and a continuous variable at least that you should be able to tell what continuous, is continuous yeah continuous is in uh, number actually that uh, what is I mean, number Uh, it, it can be a uh, one point one, one point one point one. Yeah, 1. and what 2. is what is random? What is discrete? A discrete will be the whole number. We can say. Yes. Okay. So okay. that is one of the difference you can say. Yeah. So the probability distribution functions which are applicable to random discrete discrete variables they are called discrete variables. They are called probability mass functions (PMF), and the probability distributions which are applicable to continuous numbers they are called pdf probability density functions so pdf is related to continuous number and pmf is related to discrete number now we have studied couple of uh, distributions so now tell me normal distribution is it a continuous distribution or uh, a, is it a continuous distribution or uh, is it a, it is a discrete it's a pdf or pmf normal distribution is it for continuous number or it is for discrete number or continuous number normal distribution so not revising guys so see normal distribution is for continuous number continuous student t distribution is a special case of normal distribution so it is also for continuous number but this uh, variable which is you called uh, uh, generally we call uh, this uh, this is uh, for uh, like uh, this variable so i am getting to different statement about uh, this function like uh, uniform distribution so uniform distribution is uh, also a continuous distribution actually uniform distribution is also a distrib continuous distribution because a can x can take any values between a and b lower limit a upper limit b x can be any value between a and b right in 1.0 so x is suppose lower limit a is 0 and upper limit is 5 so a can be 1.1 1.2 1.25 1.35 2.1 .1, .1, anything right so it is for continuous number so all the three distributions which we have studied so far namely which is your normal distribution normal distribution another name for normal distribution is gaussian distribution and that bell curve which we get famous our bell curve that bell curve is called gaussian curve okay so that normal distribution curve which we get bell curve so that bell curve is called gaussian curve so okay so the normal distribution student t distribution and uniform distribution all the three distributions are continuous distribution so they are for continuous numbers so we'll study some uh, distribution in the next class which are for discrete variables okay so that we'll study in the next class okay so now we get get back to our uh, like our numerical which we intended to study in this class so i want you to read this particular example so let x be a discrete random variable x is a discrete random variable discrete random variable and the range is uh, rn rx whose range is it belongs to set 1 2 3 4 like that it belongs to 1 2 3 4 so x can take any value 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to infinity 1 2 3 4 num discrete number okay suppose pmf 
discrete variable means there will be pmf probability mass function so pmf of x is given by pmf is given by p px k k k is a variable px is nothing but the probability probability at any k probability at 1 probability at 2 probability at 3 is given by 1 upon 2 to the power k simple function 1 upon 2 to the power k where k will vary from 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you ask what is the probability uh, of uh, probability at uh, k equal to 1 so it will be 2 to the power 1 2 2 to the power 1 upon 2 to the power k no so at k equal to 1 it will be 2 to the power 1 1 upon 2 to the power 1 at k equal to 2 it will be 1 upon k 1 upon k 2 to the power 2 now my question is what will be the probability at k equal to 5 what is the probability at k equal to 5 guys we have just uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 no no, no. what what will be the probability see the pmf uh, okay sorry see the pmf what will be the probability at k equal to 5 sarthak anybody jignesh anybody like so 1 upon 32 yeah 1 upon 2 to the power 5 right Yes. Oh, 1 upon 2, to, it is, what is PMF? Yeah, it is 1 upon 2 to the power yes, K. Yes, yes, yes. At K equal to 1, it is 1 upon 2 to the power 1. At K equal to 2, it is 1 upon 2 to the power 2. At K equal to 5, it will be 1 upon 2 to the power 5. Right? Understood? Simple, no? Now, my next question is, what will be the probability less than equal to, less than equal to, less than probability, what will be the cumulative probability less than, for k less than equal to 5, k less than equal to 5, what will be the probability? k less than equal to 5. Minimum value of k is 1, and I am asking less than equal to 5. Wow, what will be the probability, cumulative probability? 2, 3, 4, I mean 2 plus 3 plus 5. No, 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 be, be a little bit more, think and tell. Sartha, can you tell? What will be the probability for k less than equal to 5? It's a very straightforward and a simple question I'm asking, guys. You told k is equal to 1 will be equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 1. k equal to 2 will be 2 to the power 1 upon 2 to the power 2. k equal to 5 will be 1 upon 2 to the power 5. So I'm asking now a simple question. What will be the probability k less than equal to k less than equal to 5? What will be the cumulative probability? It will stress your mind. It is very simple. You have solved these kind of problems. Sir, See, in integral will Yeah, it will be kind of integral, but it is a discrete number. So it will be sigma. So it will be sigma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now tell me what will be the probability. You can tell very easily. It is Sig a discrete number, no? So integral is not required. It will be sigma. So tell me what will be the value, Sartak. So sigma 1, 2 to the power k, where k is from 1 to 5? Yes. Uh, so it will be sigma of k, k equal to 1 to k equal to 5. Sigma, k, sigma means, so the total will be so see, probability for k less than equal to 5 will, will be addition of probability of k equal to 1, probability of k equal to 2, probability of k equal to 3, probability of k equal to 4, and probability of k equal to 5. If, or, if I add all this up, will it not uh, give me probability k, k less than equal to 5, k less than equal to 5? Is it will not give me. Yes. So sir. it will be 1 upon 2 to the power 1 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 2 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 5. Do you agree with that, guys? Yes, sir. Like you have to add up for all the all the possibilities. So less than or equal to 5 means what? Minimum minimum is 1 and maximum is 5. So k will vary. k will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So keep in the P PMF to 1 upon 2 to the power 1, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 2, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 5. Do you agree with that, Jignesh and uh, Amit? So it is like doing integral only. It is, But it's a discrete number. 
So we are doing sigma. Do you agree with this, Jignesh and uh, Amit? Yes, sir. Uh, do you agree? Now tell me what will be the B, B, B question. Now solve B. What will be the probability 2 is less than X is not equal to 2 is less than X and X, X is less than equal to 5. Tell me the probability. Now you have to you tell me 2 is less than X is not equal. 2 is not equal to X. 2 is less than X and X is less than X is less than uh, uh, 5, X less than equal to 5. So tell me what will be the range of K? What will be the range of K in this case? B, B question. What will the range of X? So 3, 4, 5. Yes, 3, 4, 5, right? So what will be the value then? What will be the value of uh, probability 2 less than X and X is less than equal to 5? What will be the value of probability? So sigma uh, 1 upon uh, 2K where K is... Uh, uh, lower limit is 3 and upper limit is 5. Yes, so 1 upon 2 to the power 3 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 5, right? Do you agree with this, Jignesh and Amit? See, 2 is less than x, means x is greater than 2, right? So it will be yeah. 3, 4 and 5. So 3, 4 yeah. and 5. Yeah. So you just keep in this formula, 1 upon 2 to the power 3 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 5. Do you agree with this? Yes, sir. Now tell me what will the C, C question solve C1. What will be the probability X greater than 4? X greater than 4. Right now we are doing less than equal to 5, less than equal to 4. Now I am asking what will be X greater than 4? Only you solve five. this kind of question. Sir, 1 minus uh, sigma... Uh, yeah, 1 minus P less than equal to 4, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Got it. You calculate for P less than equal to 4 and uh, 1 minus if you do it, will you, will you not get Px greater than 4? Yes, sir. Got it. Now the, solve the A question, like A part you solve it. What is the plot and what is the CDF of, uh, what is the CDF of this? What will be CDF? PMF you already know. PMF is nothing but 1 upon 2 to the power k. What will be CDF in this case? What will be CDF? Now you are getting confused. Simply we have discussed this. Now only we have discussed it. That is, that is only CDF. What is CDF? Now only we have discussed so many times. Talk. Like now in this, this session only we have discussed CDF. Tell me what will be CDF. Sarthak, CDF, can you tell? See, guys, so now first PMF you have understood. PMF probability mass function is nothing but probability at any given value of K. Probability at any given value of K is nothing but PMF. So PMF is 1 upon 2 to the power K. At K equal to 1, probability for K equal to 1 will be 2 to the power 1 probability k equal to 2 will be k, k 1 upon 2 to the power 2. You understood that? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now you want PMF. PMF. Now you want CDF. So you see the answer. CDF. What is the CDF? So CDF, CDF, will, CDF, be will, be, of the CDF will be area under the curve. So it will not integral. It is a discrete function. So instead of integral, we will apply sigma. So PMF, PMF, k equal to Hey, give me a minute. I need to take this phone, guys. Sure. Just give me a minute.
sorry guys i was on mute yeah so i forgot that so now i am asking you a simple question your probability mass function is nothing but 1 upon 2 to the power k now you are integrating it like you are making a sigma of k equal to 1 to infinity will it, will it be will it be equal to 1 or not yes sir it will yes. be one because all the possibilities you are adding up right for area under the curve you are finding so it will be equal to 1 so that will be equal to your probability your cdf cumulative density function cumulative density function now this problem already we have solved b and c already we have solved so like uh, b part b part so like c like if you want to calculate if you want to calculate pmf for any value k so x varying between 0 to k x varying between 0 to k if you want to find pmf for any value of k so it will be 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 what to the power 4 plus upon plus up to 1 upon up to 2 to the power k got it na x is varying from 0 to k x is varying from 1 to k so it will be 1 yeah. upon 2 to the power 1 1 upon 2 to the power 2 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3 up to 1 upon 2 to the power k right is that correct x is yeah. varying from yes, 0 1 yeah. to k is that correct so if you add it up if you, if you add this series up actually it's a algebra thing actually you have to do little bit uh, it's a series actually so most probably it's a kind of a geometric series so because it is common differences too so that geometric series if you add it up it will add up, add up as 2 to the power k minus 1 upon 2 to the power k so that is nothing but your cdf for any value of k you can determine uh, like uh, so it will be give for any value less than so if you want cdf less than equal to 5 just put 5 here so cdf p less than equal to 5 will less than equal to 5 will be 2 to the power 5 minus 1 upon 2 to the power 5 so tell me what will be the what will be the cdf for uh, k less than equal to 7 what will the cdf for k less than equal to 7 see the formula and tell me k less than equal to 7 what will be the cdf value i i have given the example for k equal to 5 now you have to tell me what is the what is the example what is the cdf for k less than equal to 7 k less than equal to 7 you have to find out from 1 to 7 what will be the value see the formula and tell so 2 to the power 7 minus 1 upon 2 to the power 7 Yes, so you are already so you are right. So it will be two to the power seven minus one upon two to the power seven. Guys, you agree with that, Amit and Jignesh? Yes, sir. Huh? Na because CDF we have already calculated. Now for any value, so for any k value of k less than equal to ten, k k less than equal to fifteen, just put value of k. Yes, so k less than equal to fifteen. It will be CDF will be cumulative probability will be two to the power fifteen minus one upon two to the power fifteen. now b part so b part is find the value of k like x lying between 2 2 and 15 so we thought we calculated so k will x will take value 3 4 and 5 so b we have already solved so c we have already solved it so already solved it means uh, 2 already so it will be here you see or equivalently or equivalently It will be equal to p x three plus p x four plus p x five. It will be one upon two to the power three plus one upon two to the power four plus one upon two to the power five. Got it, na? Two and three, four, five. Got it. Yes, Ignesh, I mean Ignesh. Yeah. Amit, got it. Yes, sir. Now p p greater than p x greater than four. So it will be one minus p x less than less than equal to four. So one you have to do one minus probability of x lying between less than equal to 4 so you see the expression so now if you calculate p what will be the value of p less than equal to 4 x x less than equal to 4 okay x less than equal to 4 so value of k is 1 2 3 4 what will be the value so if you calculate that value it will be 15 by 16 okay so what will be the value tell me anna 
Amit, tell me. What will be P X less than equal to 4? What will be the value? You don't add up. You just tell me the in terms of uh, numbers. What will be the value? PDF is 2 to the power K. I am asking you K varying from 1 to 4. What will be the value? Amit Bhai. Yes, sir. sir. I'm listening. What will be the value for K varying between 1 to 5? Why you are finding so difficult here? Yeah? See, so many we have discussed. Now I'm asking x or k varying between less than equal to 4 so x x k equal to 1 2 3 4 so tell me for what will be the cdf for that what will be cdf for that so many times we have discussed now. see so it will be 1 upon 2 to the power 1 plus 1 upon 2 to the power 2, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 4. Got it? Yes, sir. It will be sigma k equal to 3 to k equal to 1 to 4, 1 upon yeah. 2 to the power k. So it will be 1 upon, 1 upon 2 to the power 1, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 2, plus 1 upon 2 to the power 3, Three plus one, two. 1 upon 2 to the power 4. Now tell yes. me, now, now Amit, you have to tell. How much will be the CDF for uh, k k less than equal to six? Don't calculate. Just like in terms of two only, you tell k less than equal to six. So the addition, I mean, one upon uh, five and one upon six, we need to add. Yes, right. So yeah. you got it now. Yes. So p x greater than four means p like one. One is total. Minus P X less than equal to 4. Yes, sir. We just put it so that calculator will be 15 by 16. So it will be equal to 1 by 16. Got it? So this is a discrete function. So this was a discrete function. So in discrete function, we never apply integral. Instead of integral, we go for sigma. And if it is a continuous function, then we go for integral. So these little bit things of math like uh, you have to a little bit uh, things and uh, you have to remember these things. So got it? You, is it clear to you? Is this numerical clear to you? So you got how we got, how we calculated uh, CDF. So CDF will be nothing but K less than equal to K plus 1. K less than so 1 upon 2 to the power 1 till 1 upon 2 to the power K. If you do the addition, it will be 2 to the power K minus 1 upon 2 to the power K. It's nothing but your... 11th class uh, geometric progression, you know, geometric progression, you might remember now, you might have forgotten. Yes, if you sir. add up this geometric progression, 1 upon 2 to the power 1, 1 upon 2 to the power 2, 1 upon 2 to the power 3, up to 1 upon 2 to the power k, if you add up, it will add up to 1 upon, it will be add up to 2 to the power k minus 1 upon 2 to the power k. Sir, so we little can... bit of, yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, can we also write this as 1 minus uh, 1 upon uh, 2 to the power k? 1? If we break the what fraction. Is what is that? Sir, if we break this fraction, then we can also write it as 1 minus uh, 1 upon 2 to the power k. 1 minus 1 upon... Yes, you are right. You can calculate it. It will be easier way of calculating it. So, but is, is the there k and minus it? Yeah. So, but is is there a logic behind this? Because uh, since we are subtracting it from one, uh, that means we are uh, calculating uh, the remainder of the probability. Yeah, I have to think over it. But it, answer coming, answer is coming same. Yes, one sir. minus one upon two to the power k. Answer will be same. Two to the power k minus one upon two to the power k. So it must be correct only. Right, but little bit yes, I also have uh, confusion here because we are calculating at the point k equal to k, like k equal to k, we are calculating right, and we are subtracting it uh, from one. So, little bit uh, logic here is shaking. So, little uh, let us uh, uh, leave it for now. So, but you are right, but answer will be same. So, you, this must be correct only, yes, sir. Okay. Got it. But even I am not convinced because logic is shaking here. Because see, I am calculating probability at k equal to k. So it will be 1 upon 2 to the power k. Ideally, to subtract from 1, 
I should have calculated from k, like like uh, probability k greater than k, okay. like probability k value of k greater than k, k to infinity I have to calculate, right? Yes, sir. From k to infinity I have to calculate, and then I have to subtract from one. Correct. Right, sir. Yes, sir. See, ideally I should calculate from k to infinity, right hand side completely. And then I have to subtract from uh, one so that I should get from one to K. Correct it, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, here a little bit logic is shaking. So even I am confused. Yeah, leave it. So leave it for now. Okay, sir. Yeah, so even I am confused. Leave it. So, but I think you got this numerical. EMF was given. You calculated the value of CDF, how to calculate CDF. Then you saw how to calculate the probability between k value of k lying between two values, two, two and five. Then you saw the value of uh, like how to calculate uh, probability of k greater than four, greater than four, so greater than five, greater than six. So you have to nothing but you have to, you have to use the reverse formula, one minus formula. So that's what you calculated. So it's a very simple numerical. And little bit of maths is required. So see, require here knowledge of eleventh class geometric progression is required. So this one upon two to the power one, one upon two to the power two, up to one upon two to the power k, it's a geometric progression. So you should know the how to how to make the sum of it. So that sum is geometric progression. The direct formulas are given in eleventh uh, class algebra. So that is required. Plus a uh, little bit of uh, like knowledge of summation and integration is required. So that was basic math is small basic math is required in this case to grasp this formula. So if you revise that, it will be nice. If you don't revise that also, okay, but you understand the concept also is okay because direct uh, in, in direct in data science, it is not useful directly. But if you understand for now how it is being done, I think it is okay for now to proceed as a data scientist. Okay, but if you understand how to some geometric progression, what is the difference between sigma and integral, all those things if you understand and simple, simple integrals, if you can calculate, it will be a lot uh, help for you in solving this kind of probability problems. Okay, so with this, I think uh, I open for questions and uh, if we no questions, then uh, we'll end up. Right, any questions guys? So here, uh, the, so next is, uh, I'll tell you what next. So here is question answer. So I'll get, tell you what next we are going to do. What next means like uh, what next we are going to do, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what next. What next? So next I will tell you so that you have some interest. So I will end my, so next is see this. So couple of uh, discrete uh, variable right now, our uh, we studied uh, the normal distribution, student t distribution and uh, uh, uniform distribution. All three were for, all three were for continuous function, continuous numbers. So now we are going to see a couple of uh, distributions which are for random, which are for uh, uh, discrete numbers. So discrete numbers is one is Poisson distribution, one is binomial distribution, they are for uh, discrete numbers. Poison also for a discrete number, binomial also for discrete number, and exponential distribution. So exponential distribution is something similar to your uh, normal distribution. So exponential distribution is for continuous number, but binomial and Poison are for, uh, these two kind of distributions are there. They are for uh, discrete numbers. See, same concepts are same. But only PDF and PMF formula will change, that's all. Same integration will be there, same concepts will apply. But only formula for uh, probability density function and probability mass function will change. Now I ask you this question again and close before I close. What is the difference between PDF and PMF? Anybody? We just discussed before this class. Just we start, while starting the class, I ask you this question. Now I'm asking this question again. What is the difference between PDF and PMF? Any guy, anybody? For continuous and discrete uh, calculation. Which is for continuous? 
PDF. And PMF for discrete, right? Discrete, yeah. So now you understand. Okay. And what is a continuous number and what is a discrete number? You understand that also. Okay, so yes. you understand. Now, the exponential distribution formula or the student tree distribution formula or the normal distribution formula, they are all PDF, right? They are all PDF because they are continuous, right? They are got. So only formula will change. Yeah? All the concepts, all the integrals, all the limits, formulas will remain same. Only formula for PDF will change. Got it? Now, what is Poisson distribution? It is for, it is for uh, discrete number. Binomial, binomial, it is also for a discrete number. So here, am I sharing my screen? Yeah, I'm sharing my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So I'll tell you, here you saw, here you saw the PDF as, here what was the PMF? What was the PMF here? In this problem, what was the PMF? Probability mass function. What was PMF? Guys, it is in front of you. You are not reading and telling. You. What is PMF in this case? Sir, you are asking the formula. Yeah, PMF formula. Sir, 1 upon 2k. 1 upon 2 to the power k is the PMF, right? Do you agree with this, Amit and Jignesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what is PMF, okay? So this 1 upon, instead of 1 upon 2 to the power k, some other formula will come. If it is a Poisson distribution, some other formula will come. If it is a binomial distribution, some other formula will come. If it is the exponential distribution, then instead of PDF, P PMF, we'll have PDF, some other formula will come. <clears throat> so only, the, only this much is different, right? So all concept will remain same. All the problem will remain same. All the integral, everything will remain same. Okay. And yes, these sir. are the some uh, difficult things I'm telling you. These are not easy things in probability. These are a bit uh, difficult concepts only. And uh, they require some maths, like I told you, summation of uh, geometric progression, little bit of integral, little bit of uh, like your uh, sigma is very simple. Yeah, sigma is nothing but sum of the sum. So a lot, lot little bit of uh, maths is there, little bit of maths is there, 11, 12th class maths. So these are difficult concepts. You assume that. For anybody, they are difficult. Not only for you, they are difficult. So next couple of classes will be difficult like this only till we study poison, binomial and exponential. So don't run away. Just be <laughs> just be there and try to grasp whatever you can. Okay, got it? Sure, sir. Yes, sir. So don't don't run away. Okay. Yeah, there's concepts, but you can I if you, if I were in your place now, I will ask uh, one of my like younger brother or anybody and I open the 12th class integral and a little bit I will revise it. So better you revise it. If you want, I can share 12th class NCRT book with you. Today I'll share NCRT book. It's available for free online. So I'll share 12, class 12 NCRT book with you. If you wish, you can study a little bit of integral and differential from that. It will be forever useful to you. And little bit geometric progression and also I will share both 11th class algebra and uh, integration books with you tonight in our group. Okay, so try to study what is geometric progression, what is arithmetic progression, what is integral, simple, simple integral, try to see. You have already done it because you have passed the exam already, right? So you know all that, you have to just little bit revise it. And if you are in data science, your math should be good. If you want to join data science, your math should be good. You remember that it's a line it's an academic line actually data science is not like uh, uh, other practical line in which you totally forget academics and you can uh, do the industry problem no not not like that data science is very closely related to academics little bit of maths is required so if you have strong concepts in maths you will be a successful uh, data scientist okay so with that advice i will share the books for 11th in which you will have geometric progression and all that. I will tick mark the page numbers. You can little bit study simple, simple couple of problems from there and little bit of 12th integral calculus. So that I'll share with you tonight. If you want, you can uh, do those problems. Okay. Okay, sir. Any questions, guys? Any so, questions? sir, I mean, uh, what will be the next journey? I mean, this- Next journey, I'm telling you, no, <laughs> we are studying uh, 
poison distribution binomial distribution which are nothing but uh, your discrete distribution and one more di continuous distribution we will study which is nothing but exponential distribution so two more classes will be there for uh, distribution okay and after, after that, that we'll go, come to the easier easier part so i'll show you the easier part also so that you don't run away so will I'll, not sir will not run away sir i mean it's uh, yeah, i will show you the easier part also which is very very easy and uh, it's very very easy <laughs> So I'll show you the easier part. See the easier part. See, now you know this, right? What is yes, data sir. collection method, population sample, statistic, statistic parameters, parameters, sampling methods, application of sampling method, four type of statistics are there. All this is theoretical. No maths. Then next one is a little bit uh, maths. Next one I will show you like uh, part two statistics. So in that you have a lot of nice concept, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, you will study correlation, skewness, orthosis, covariance, all these statistical concepts which we used to study in our old statistics, all that we'll revise here. Very simple, simple formulas will be there. Just put the values and get the answer. Okay. So all these concepts you see, these are all mathematical concepts. Small, small formulas will be there for everything. So that's all we'll revise. These are very, very basic concepts. So if you, if anybody asks you in interview, what is kurtosis or what is skewness, you should not be blank face. You should be able to tell, yes, if this is called skewness, this is the formula for kurtosis. Simple, simple things we'll revise. So you will, whatever statistics and probability you have studied in your school or your college, everything we are revising in this session, in our lectures. 1 to A to Z we are revising. Okay. So nothing will be left out. Got it? So these are simple, simple things which will, uh, these concepts. Then if I show you the next one also, next one also, next one is hypothesis testing. Like, so that you might not understand so far. So that is nothing. Hypothesis testing is there. Your little bit, very interesting problems are there in that. So that is your next one. So you got it, Amit, what is, what is going to be next? Yes, sir. So next two classes will be Poison distribution, binomial distribution, exponential distribution. Three more distributions we'll study. Yes, 